Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mildred, and I am your gaming monk for the evening. So, RPG A Day 2019 has finally arrived. And I think for this year, instead of doing it on social media through text, I'm going to try it in video form. Starting with today. And hopefully you'll have a similar one of these. They're not going to be especially well edited because I'm just going off the cuff with a name that they're giving instead of the questions that they've done the last few years. So for day one, the word is first. So I'm going to go with the first RPG that I ever took part in. That was Advanced Dungeons & Dragons 2nd Edition. More specifically, the Black Book version, which is... In hindsight, hilarious to me, because the first page that you see, it talks about how it is not a D&D 3rd edition. And then a few years later, that's what we would get, just not from TSR. I, um, it might be unsurprising to say, but I am not a huge fan of going back to a D&D 2nd, and this is also the reason why I'm not the biggest fan of the OSR type of games, the Retro Clones. I say as I've already reviewed two Retro Clones in my review series. But the thing is, the Retro Clones that I'm willing to sign off on are ones that do something different. Way too many of them are just AD&D with a modern editing tool. That's not interesting to me. I've already done AD&D to death, and while it certainly does some things that I've liked, Thaco, as it was written, is poorly explained. I have never cared for the Vancean spellcasting system in that context. I think it's also ironic that the Dying Earth books don't use the Vancean model, but I digress. And the fact that it also does the whole linear quadratic thing, and I was never really a fan of multiple XP requirements for different classes. Like, I don't really get it. I never... I know it sounds like I'm excessively slagging AD&D, but that's because that was the case where I, sh where I said, I don't want to do this just because this is the version that everybody else is doing. Especially the case now with 5th edition. But I wanted to always branch out. So the game after that I did was Rifts. Which illustrates one entirely decent point. At that time, I was a fucking idiot. Because I thought Rifts was going to somehow be an improvement. Shows what the fuck I know. <laughs> I don't regret starting with AD&D and then going on to Rifts, because it's kind of been the foundation for my style and the reason why you don't see me do a whole lot of AD&D videos or a whole a lot of D&D um, &D videos. I've done a few, but not quite as many as other stuff that I've covered. Now, as far as what I'd recommend somebody's first RPG to be, I would honestly say a free game like Heroes Against Darkness would work. Um, Fate's another good one, even though I have some issues with Evil Hat games. Savage Worlds is a very, very good one. And if you want a decent one that's really dirt cheap, look up Mini 6. It is a stripped-down version of the D6 system that was used in the very, very good Star Wars D6 RPG. But that's all I've got for this whole first thing, and hopefully we'll have some more interesting things to go over in the future. I know it sounds like a bit rambly, but I decided to do this as a one-take vlog kind of thing. Effectively ripping off your boy Zach, except my videos aren't going to be nearly as long. So, until next time, my name is Mildra, I am your Gaming Monk, stay frosty everybody.